Hey y'all, so I just got to one of my favorite vintage stores in Oklahoma City. It's called Decades Revisited. I thought that I would bring you guys along, so let's go inside. Their outdoor flea market is always very good.
So here's what I'm super excited about, vintage Christmas. I cannot wait until it's that time. This booth had a lot of vintage studio pottery that I really wanted. Ultimately, I didn't get anything, but they had a really great variety and I considered multiple pieces. I really liked this bowl right here. It's one of those things where I really don't need another piece of vintage pottery unless it is a very nice piece by a major ceramist or it's just something that I can't turn down based on its colors or its shape. That one you can see has a crack there. I don't buy any vintage pottery with cracks or chips. I also considered this one, but ultimately it's just a really small piece of pottery and I decided against it. I try to stay away from browns and neutrals just because I really don't have anywhere in my house that that goes. Again, coming back to this piece of pottery that I feel like I need, but I also feel like I don't need. This was a great booth. Okay, so staying on theme with the vintage pottery, I saw these down here. I always pick these up. My mom collects these. I think this is Namaji. But what really caught my eye was this tiny piece of studio pottery. I've never seen anything so small. And I liked the colors. I didn't get it, but honestly, I'll probably go back and get it. I keep thinking about it. All right, well, back again at my favorite Goodwill. Okay, so this was a great piece of pottery. It was really well made. It looked like it was a lid to something though. So I stuck it in the cart in hopes that I would find the container that it goes with. This was also vintage pottery, not up my alley though. This however is, I love Buddhas. This is an incense burner, so I snagged this. This was another incense burner, but I realized after I put it in the cart that it was new. So I put it back on the shelf later. Next up was the art. I immediately spotted this and I knew it was going to go in the cart before I even looked closely at it. Okay, so I decided to stop by the farmer's market today as well. So let's go inside. So the farmer's market is just that. It is a farmer's market, but it also has some vintage shops in that building. And so that is why I'm going in today. And there is one of our favorite little bars over here as well. And I'll probably stop in for a drink. I like to buy things like this to set plants on and planters. So we'll find out whose these are inside. Probably get those. Some decent Hager pieces here. Um, I'm not a Hager collector, but I like anything like this that plants can be put into. And so it is true flea market style. Uh, I would say that the prices are a little more than flea market pricing and more like at least half retail price.
see what I mean. True flea market style. Can get a little sketchy back here. I'd like to get over there and look at that stuff, but it's almost impossible. That's the negative thing about here is they just kind of stack everything as they get it and you can't get over to look at stuff. Okay, so I'm back from thrifting. Really not much to write home about this trip. I did get a great piece of art though that I'll be keeping for myself. See, that's the problem with going to Goodwill and finding some amazing stuff. It's I try to buy things that aren't necessarily my style because they're a lot easier for me to get rid of as long as they're cool or valuable. I like to pick those up, but when it comes to art, I'm kind of a sucker for keeping most of it. If you followed me for a while, you know that I have entirely too much art. And this piece that I'm about to show you is really cool. And I need to do some research on it because I'm not sure how much it's worth. It is an original though, so that makes me like it that much more. So let me flip my camera around and I'll show you what I got at Goodwill today. And we'll go from there. Okay, so kind of hard. This room is so hard. I don't even know why I film in here. But these it's two cheetahs and it's called Running on Soft Ground. It's a color trial proof by Steve Nowatsky. So it's just a really cool piece and it's pink so I love it so I'll be keeping that and I love the frame as well the black with the with the glass it does have well it's actually not glass it's acrylic but it does have a couple scratches but stuff like that doesn't really bother me um, as long as it's not cracked or anything like that now let me flip around here I got this Buddha um, because it's cute and I love incense burners. So I got that guy. And then I got these two navy candle holders that I will be keeping. I've been looking for some um, candle holders kind of in the right color uh, for the dining room table. And made in Taiwan, so obviously nothing very valuable, but they were the right color so I'm gonna stick them on the dining table oh and one other thing that I should show you is this vintage Henry Matisse Museum of Art poster I picked this up the other day when I was at the consignment store just up the street I loved the frame it's like a deep plum and of course I love Henry Matisse and it is a vintage poster from 1987 so undecided yet if I will keep or sell this this is most definitely something that will not be shipped I it's too big so if I sell it it will be local so if you are local and you are interested in this throw me out an offer that will make me want to sell it otherwise I don't know if it's gonna go anywhere 